What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we began Chapter 7, made it to Far Outpost, and had a rendezvous with the bob there. We learned that the cannon is indeed a thing, and that is, it can indeed shoot us to the moon, but unfortunately, we can't actually use the cannon at the moment because of two very specific individuals. One of those is a guy by the name of Gold Bob, who we have met many times throughout the game, and the other is another one by the name of General white who we may or may not have met earlier on in the game and when i say earlier i say much earlier now this right here this is gold bob yep the rich old bureaucratic bob -omb. good day to you gonzalez what can i do you for today what's that you say you must use the cannon at far outpost to save the world hmm well that is rather a pickle isn't it very well then i certainly owe you a favor or two hmm, yes i should say the truth is i had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday and just between us i only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working. So, I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If, I were to, if it were a matter of money, just how much would you pay, if I may ask? So, there is only one answer to this situation, unfortunately. And it is, of course, I know I have so much coins, but I hate to do this. Everything I have. What? You pay every coin you own? All of them? You are really? So, really? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. Uh, you know that it means you'll be left with zero coins, with absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? Yes. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great difficulty down the road. Yes. But hold on. I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Yes. I can really take them all. Really? You won't say just kidding later on or any sort of tomfoolery like that. I mean, do I, do I say yes here or yes? Well, all right then. It sounded a little more like I should have said no to that, but okay. Hmm, well, you've certainly shown me something, sir. Uh, so I give my permission for you to activate the fire outpost cannon. Yeah! Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my little fellow. Uh, how can I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. And we get it all back. Yay. Okay. Now, soldier on, my boy! Sweet, so that part's done. That's the easy part. And this email that we actually get, I believe all it does is tell us that we can now get double points on the Excess Express, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, it's a whole RDM issue, though. Uh, Rogue Port today, an unknown businessman, age 30, was taken into custody today by Port Authorities as he tried to climb aboard the blimp carrying large amounts of volatile li red liquid. After a few tense moments, authorities identified the liquid as the spicy condiment and was bu the businessman was subsequently released. Our RDM reporters were mystified by the following unsolicited comment. Buy our new hot sauce, folks! Shop reporter go! This week we have the pleasure of introducing the fabulously luxurious shop in the Exit Express, the Sales Stall. This unique boutique of, on the exclusive train of the independently wealthy just reeks of money, but perhaps the idyllic landscapes put rushing past will loosen your purse strings. Says the impeccably dressed manager of sales, come one, come all, be you rich or not at all, to our lovely Sales Stall. He then announced a double point sale for our RDM readers. Just show him this screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. Too bad there's nothing in there I want. Cooking for rookies. This is it, rookies. You finally made it to the big leagues. Today's recipe is an advanced level one. Today, we'll be making ink pasta. Just boil fresh pasta until perfectly al dente and mix lightly with inky sauce. Perfecto. Get ready for gourmet chow tonight. Editor's note. Can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. Published by the Roadport Restoration Committee. Why would you have a last issue of anything? Is, wouldn't that be like a weekly thing or an annual thing? I don't freaking know. Anyways, we have now dealt with Gold Bob. So now comes the part where we got a freaking deal with General White. And this is the part that I was talking about at the end of the last episode. The part of the game that I honestly do think is... It, it's, a, it's a blight. It's a blight on the game's quality. It really is. It's not the worst thing ever. It doesn't take that long. But it is dumb. It is actually dumb. All right, so we're going to head on over here. And I believe this is the room that has um, the two pipes that I need. Let's try this one. I think this is the one. I hope it is. I could be wrong. Okay, no, yes, it is. Okay, so we want to go to Pedalberg here first. Now, we're going to head on over this way. And there was, I believe, I can't remember if he was on this screen to the other one. Let's head on in here. Nope, this ain't the one. Excuse me. Pardon me. Head on. Well, actually, are you here? Thanks to you. Okay, I don't, I don't really care about you. Because I know General White was around here somewhere. Nope, not this. Maybe he was on the first screen? Okay, let's go over this way then. Because I know we ran into him at one point. He was like, I am a sad bob -omb. Okay, not you. Guess we'll try this screen then. 
Yeah, he was up here. Let's head on in the house. Let's see what we got. Hello? Oh, that's right. You're the... You're that guy. <laughs> Oops. Not the one I wanted to talk to. Where the frick? Do I need to talk to the mayor? Maybe I need to talk to the mayor. Huh? What's that, General White? Oh, he was here a while ago, but he said he was taking a trip, and then he left. Wait, hang on a sec. He did say something about a deserted isle to the south. He was either going there or not going there. Definitely one of the two. Wow. That could not be the most vague answer in the entire freaking world. Holy crap. So now we need to head on over to Kill Hall Key. Now, thankfully, at the very least, Kill Hall Key is pretty convenient to get to from here. We just obviously have to go to the next screen over and use the pipe on the right. But we're going to start hitting a point where we can't just rely on these pipes because obviously the only pipes we have left are ones that leads to Boggly Woods and ones that lead to Poshley Heights and then, of course, um, freaking uh, Kill Hall Key right here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah. Let's... Head on over this way, and I don't even freaking know who we're supposed to talk to. It's probably another ger generic NPC. It's usually never like a named character. But this is the main area. Hello, hello. You? Not you. It's gotta be one of these toads, right? What's that you got? Uh, no, you're not the one I want to talk to. Is it Papatch? General White? Yeah, he was here until a second ago, but he took off right quick, so he was going to an arena or something. Oh, so yeah, now we have to go to the glitz pick. And this is the part where I'm going to have to start doing some cutting. Basically, this part of the game is just like, why don't you just go back to every single chapter that you've been to before? Why? Oh, no reason. You probably just want to hang out there, I would assume. All right. For, well, actually, I think there is actually something we can do in the glitz pit while we're there. So that, you know, now that I have the ultra boots and whatnot. So I'll see you all there in just a second. All right, so we have made it. And oh my gosh, look who's here. This guy from chapter six. How you doing? Oh, this is no good. No one will solve my trouble. Wait, can I not solve your trouble? Oh, wait. <laughs> Duh, it's probably at the trouble center. I should probably actually go do that at some point. I don't know. I haven't actually done any of those. That would probably be a good idea. Anyways, I'm going to do that so I can get this shine sprite. And let's ask around and see who we got to talk to. Maybe not you. Nope, not the one I want to talk to. Hold on. Someone's... Someone's got to be the. Someone's got to be telling me exactly where the frick I'm supposed to find General White. Maybe it's the. Maybe it's the juice bar over this way. It's got to be somewhere over here. I also think there's something inside the glitz uh, pit itself that I can use the ultra boots on now. Is it you, General White? Oh, you must mean that white ba bum, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time, but I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, he headed off to some huge tree, or not. Why do people do that? Why is that allowed? Why is that even acceptable to answer something like that? He probably did this, or he didn't. You'll never know. Anyways, we're going to be heading off to the Boggly Tree in a second. I'm just going to check in here for one quick thing. Um, if there is actually something here, I'll cut uh, to it. If not, I will be cutting back to... Uh, I will be cutting back to the Boggly Tree, so I will see you all there in a second. Alrighty, here we are. We haven't been here in a freaking while, have we? So, probably going to just talk to one of the punies inside, I would as imagine. Nobody too ridiculously important, I hope. But no, there obviously wasn't anything in Glitzville itself. I'm going to get Chi. Do you know why? But I have no idea where he went. He said something about going somewhere dark. Okay, well, that's very freaking obviously going to be Twilight Town, which means that we're just going to have to go right back up the pipes again and... Head on over there, because that one also has no warp to it. I don't know why Chapter 3 and 4 were the two that were singled out to not have any warp locations, but they do not. I mean, I guess Chapter 3, like, to them, it didn't make any logistical sense, but it's also freaking Mario. Nothing makes logistical sense in this, so I don't really know what the issue would have been. I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. I was like, I'm going to avoid this guy by jumping in the water. That was genius. Anyway... Um, I will see you all there in just a second. Well, I guess to answer my own question, obviously you don't need a pipe to take you to Twilight Town when the main entrance takes you straight there, but I think Creepy Steeple could have used one at the very least. Anyway, um... Wait, what did you say? Oh, I thought he said something else. Okay, well, does any of you know about General White? No, I actually don't like this place very much. It kind of sucks. Maybe I need to talk to the mayor? How about you? I'm just going to kind of ask around. General White? Okay. Yeah, I know that old guy. He was a white bum mom, right? He was here until recently. What? Where did he go? Oh, what am I? Secretary? He looked tired. I know that. Tired. Wait. He looked tired? He 
Probably went back to Poshley. Frickin' are you seriously go back to Poshley Heights like oh my gosh. Uh, Alright, I need to eat a little bit of humble pie for that one. I assumed we would have to go back to Posley Heights again, even though we already did that to go talk to Gold Bob, but no, that is not the case. We are back here in Far Outpost, and I got an email apparently that I gotta actually read. So let's have a look at that really quickly before we go any further, and I'll see you stop by the and in Rockhawk! Is this so-called Great Gonzalez? Huh? Well, it's me, your worst nightmare, the new and improved Rockhawk! Don't think I forgot you, punk. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen would blow your mind. I'm on the fast track back to the top, and ain't nobody gonna get in my way. Rock! And still, on rainy days, I feel the bruises of your hammer of shame left on this bot, and I feel the rage again! If you ever show your face in this ring, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you! Remember the Rock! Man, we gotta go back to the Glitz Pit. Apparently, you can actually run back through the entirety of the Glitz Pit. Uh, with your newfound partners. I don't know if it's any more difficult or not, though. So I think I would... If, if it actually is and there's actually some value to it, then sure, I would like to try it. But otherwise... I don't know. Maybe maybe not. Anyways, let's uh, stay. I will use my end coupon. Just so I can get all my HP and FP. Because I fought back... I fought every single enemy on the way back here to Far Outpost that I could. Just so I could get the star points out of it. Eagerly looking for yet another level up. All right. So let's get on out of here. And if we head on over this way, we can actually talk to this guy again. What? You cannot find General White? Up. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Now, where did he go? This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise, we cannot even operate that thing. So, what to do? Well, I would imagine it's the man that just poked in his head out of this building right here. Hello? Oh, he fell asleep. You know, you probably shouldn't just leave, like, hot drinks like that. Like, it's gonna get cold, anyway. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. Yes. Oh, jeez. Still asleep. Try again. Yes. One more time. Okay, but are we sure that worked? He's still sawing. I don't know. We can keep trying. Okay, fine. I'll stop with this joke. Couldn't be more asleep. Wait. Um. Hold on. Maybe Maybe you have something to say? Without general... Okay, never mind. What do I need to do to wake this guy up? Hmm. No, probably not that. That's probably not the answer. Uh, a ba bomb? No. How about flurry? Give him a nice blow to wake him up. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> it's, no, that's not gonna do it. What the heck? Wake up! There's got to be something I can do. No, fine. Yeah, I guess it does. <sighs> well, I don't know what to freaking do about this. So you evidently are actually supposed to keep jumping on him over and over, and I had no freaking idea that you were actually supposed to do that. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> wow. Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it is all hopeless. What? That mustache, that hat, and that hammer even! Hut hut, I have been looking everywhere for you! Why? To, well, to bring that cannon back online. I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the rogue port fortune teller told tell me, seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. Well, unfortunately, that's not me, because I'm the one with the green M hat and the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. Hut, you need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip, hip, hurrah! That fortune teller was right. So what are we waiting for? I shall go get the cannon ready, so go tell the bear! Now get moving, hut, hut! Okay, well, we'll do that uh, in the next episode? Yeah, I think we should probably do that in the next episode. I honestly know I have no idea how long this episode's gone, just because of all the cuts that I'm going to have to make, but hopefully it was a full-length episode. Uh, if not... Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.